Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a video for you on what's in my bag. This is the bag that I've been using recently. It's just a shoulder bag from H&M. It's got mint green leather bits and then on the sides it's just got suede sort of peachy color, cool, corally colour um, patches and it's got black straps <laughs> as you can see and just like a zip pocket. I just really like the colours of this bag and it was in the sale for £7 in H&M so bargain! So the first thing in my bag is this purse which I'm using at the moment. It's from Dorothy Perkins from the Kardashian collection. It was present um, for my 18th I think and it's just sort of quilted pattern leopard print and it's got a like, crocodile pattern around the outside. It's just got zips and it's got, it's a bit messy, um, like credit card holder sections and like coin sections just like any other purse does. But yeah, I really like it. I really like big purses. Next is this Fast and Fruity Acetone Free Nail Polish Remover. I think this was from Home Bargains and it was like 89p or something but I got it to try out because basically what it is is um no varnish remover obviously but you stick your finger into the little thing in there and it takes it off and I did try it out and it's really good and it smells like peach um so it doesn't smell too bad. Next is a nail file because I don't know I think every girl has nail files in their handbags. Hairbrush this is my favourite hairbrush. It was a present, again, I think. It's one of the Kent hairbrushes. It's like a good make of hairbrush. How many times can I say hairbrush? But yeah, it's small as well, which I like. Um, so I can take it in my bag places. And it's just, it's got all my pink hair in it. But yeah, it's quite reasonably soft. Next is my <laughs> nappy rash cream. No, I do not have a child. This is for my tattoos because the Panthen is recommended, well, by my tattoo artists at least, as the best cream to use on your tattoos. Mini toothpaste, um, which I got sent from the Colgate um, website because this is their new toothpaste, Max White One, and I signed up and you can get like samples delivered to you to try it out and I've been trying it out hasn't really made a difference but it's in my bag just in case um, I like need toothpaste. <laughs> Next is this um, MAC lipstick which I got quite recently and it's the colour Vegas Vault. I really really love this colour which is why it's in my bag. I take it like everywhere with me. It's just a sort of really nice peachy corally tone. It's, a, it's not too bright and I know I have pink hair but it kind of still goes with it. I have these sunglasses from Primark which I absolutely love. Um, they were one pound, like, oh my god, and they're sort of like, yeah, circle, lilac colour, and they've got sparkly see-through sides. One pound, amazing. Primark, I love you for sunglasses. Next, I've got this receipt um, for the Odeon to see Great Gatsby because I went, like, the week before last, it was amazing. If you haven't seen it, I would definitely recommend it. I think I always have about a million different lip glosses that have just been left in my bag from years ago. I've got this um, Effect 3D from Bourjois. Um, I don't really use any of these. I guess I just use them when I'm out if I wanna put some lip gloss on. And this one is the Velvet Lip List Lip Lift Moisture Shine from Miraness. Um, this is a really nice one, it's just a clear sparkly one. And I've got this which is Coca-Cola Lip Smacker, this is from Primark. Um, but it's a lip balm um, that smells, well I don't know if it, no it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't really taste of Coke but yeah it smells like Coca-Cola. I've got random cotton pads and cotton buds, I guess they can always come in useful cotton buds are my life saviour for mascara smudges and eyebrow. A pen because pens are always useful when you're out. Hairband because hairbands are just everywhere in my house, in my bag, on my wrist, 
I also have this beanie because I think I was wearing it last time I had the bag. It is from Less Than Zero, which are a really good brand. This is one of their beanies with the logo on it. It's just green and yeah, I really like their company. So I'll put the website in the description below and you must all check it out. I have um, a dog poo bag, <laughs> I'm not really sure why because I don't think I brought that bag on a dog walk but oh my god the other day I had to pick up Lola's poo for the first time ever, I, <laughs> I never, I'm so bad, I'm such a bad dog owner, I never pick up her poo, it's usually my mum if I'm on a walk with her but yeah, I guess that might come in useful for something else. I have this gold chain necklace. Um, I'm not too sure why it's in here, it was from a charity shop, but yeah, gold necklaces are in at the moment, so I have quite a few. One strong mint, always have to have mints with me because if you forget to brush your teeth in the morning and you go out, you can't have bad breath. I've got loads of two peas in my bag, just hanging around, I think when you get like copper change, you just chuck it in your bag and you don't bother even putting it in your purse. A Costa receipt for, what did I get? Mango cooler and a mozzarella and tomato panini. That is my favorite meal when I go to Costa, just to let you know. Finally are these clips, which I used in my video to do this hairstyle half up, half down. Check it out if you haven't already watched it. So I hope you enjoyed my video of what's in my bag and all the weird and wonderful things that you can find in Maddie Bruce's bag comment below and let me know what you thought, thumbs up and any suggestions just comment as well. <laughs> Bye!